Good afternoon, everybody. Ola Lehman here with KC Rod Vendors again. It is July the 4th. Happy Independence Day, and it is hot. Uh, water temperature is now up to 84 degrees. It's about 96 outside. We're going to uh, show you how to catch some Asian carp here in the river. Um, and we are just going to be right downtown mostly to uh, catch bait, bump, and watch fireworks. So stay tuned and we'll see what happens on the bumping rods today. All right, everybody, we are at the mouth of the Kansas and Missouri rivers where there is always just a ton of Asian carp in here. The hope is that they will just jump in the boat and we won't have to get the throw net out. But sometimes that works, sometimes it does not. We have the net set up and ready. We caught one yesterday just sitting there, but we'll see what happens today. We got the beautiful view of down here on my field. And let's see what happens. As you can see, there's a lot of them in here. They're just not jumping right now. Oh. Ah. Got him on video. Oh, oh, almost. Net him, but I do cheat. In the front of us, and they're just everywhere in here. All Asian carp. Well, no one jumped in the boat, so we're gonna stop the video for a minute. I'm gonna get the boat set up to do the throw net. We'll have Birdie film that and show you how to do that with the live scope. So hang on a minute. They don't spook up. All right, all, uh, this is all Asian carp. I'll just kind of pan and show you. But they kind of get spooked, so you gotta, gotta let the boat get situated, spot lock it, and then we don't wanna get we don't want to get more than maybe one, two, three, three tops in the net because they will tear it up. And the net I use is quite expensive. You don't have to have a net like this, but it's called a tape net. It's made for going down deeper so it stays open the whole time. Mine's a Betts 10 foot, which is um, not really easy to throw off the front of a boat. So don't laugh at me, um, but I do get it out there and it's very effective. So. Go ahead and in, in that one. Now we're ready. We're going to throw over these carp and see if we can net a few. You can see it falling there. We're just waiting on it to go over a couple of them. You can see them all the way at the bottom there. Those are the ones that we're trying to get. And I believe we fell on top of one or two at least. Looks like they're shaking around in the net. So we'll pull her tight nice and slow. I'm feeling shaking around in there, so we definitely got one. Hopefully it's a big one. We only need one or two for bumping. We're not putting out six rods, so. We got one. They're a big one too. One very big one. The easiest way to deal with these in the boat. Get them right here under their gills. 
and I'm just gonna grab my pliers real quick out of here or a wrench whatever right here in the top of the head will be a quick death and they won't jump and do crazy all over the boat on you all right everybody we got through catching bait as you can see got a nice size asian carp but just wanted to show you a little bit about our boat how it's set up for bumping and maybe you can duplicate it or at least um if you don't know how it might give you some brainstorming ideas on how your boat might work to do this uh, so up front i have the uh, 36 volt 112 pound thrust Minn Kota ultrex that's kind of steering us it has autopilot and i get it going the way i want it to go i'm also I think I mentioned in a previous video about the humps. You can see the nice humps here. The fish for us have been in 14 to 18 foot of water behind these humps here lately. And they've also been wanting to rattle. And then just so that um, my trolling motor will handle it, but it won't handle it for about three and a half to four hours. So I also have a 55 pound thrust, 12 volt Minn Kota Enduro on the back to uh, get my trolling motor down where it can last for I don't know, six to eight hours so we can keep fishing a little bit about the rig I'm using so I use a slime cap bumping rod I have a Daiwa line counter on here and then as far as our rig itself they've been wanting to rattle here lately we got a three-way setup up, up there five ounce weight some people use a chain swivel I just use a regular barrel swivel a 100 pound leader with a 40 pound weight leader and then i have two rattles on mine with a big chunk of fresh asian carp and we're fishing to put that guy down here and start bumping That's a good fish, y'all. You're okay. I'm under you now. You hooked up with a good one quickly today. I can't video and hold the rod. Okay. We got a good one hooked up here, y'all. Give Mom a chance to get her get her rod in real quick. I'm pretty sure I may have hooked the big one I missed yesterday. Who knows? He is staying down and he's knocked the shit out of that thing. Oh, pull and drag. He's not wanting to come up, y'all. That's a workout. Oh, that's a good one. I do believe it's a good one. I think it's a good one. I'm going to make my way up here and grab the net. While he's staying down. Right, I got the net.
My forearm is burning. Only 21 foot from the boat. He didn't pull that much tr much drag. He is staying down though. I believe we got a downtown Missouri River giant here. It's fine right there. I believe. Oh, we got a swivel. Oh. We got a swivel. We got a second swivel. Reel down on him. We can get a glimpse at this guy. Oh, he's just wrapped. Let me get him in the net. He's not as big as I thought he was, guys. He ended up just being wrapped around. He did it. Mm -hmm. Got him. Now this is what happens when it's crazy. This guy hit at it, missed it, and that's how good nocturnal nation hooks are, y'all, right there. All he did Yes, it hooked him in the back. He hit it, swam past it, and it caught him still. Beautiful fish. He kind of looks albino. Or whatever he calls. He kind of does, but he's got too much gray, I believe, to be an albino, but mm -hmm. hey. Yeah, he's a lot better. Good way to start the day out. Yeah. We'll get him back in the water so he can go back and play with his friends here. Appreciate it. I'm hooked up with another one, y'all. <clears throat> he don't feel that big. There, all of them feel big in this current.
trolling motor so we can float down with this fish and save the trolling motor and we'll run back up in just a minute. He ain't that big, but he knocked the snot out of it. We'll go ten pounds. He'll go ten. I gotta get mine hooked up with one. I'm gonna, uh, one of my rattles came off <coughs> when he hit it. Pretty fish. Nice 10 pounder bumping. Second one of the day. We'll turn him loose. <laughs> Look at this fat pig. Look at that hook. And then look at this. Oh, I hit my wife with the rod, y'all. Whoops. Look at this belly. How much is it, right? Pounds only because she's only got three pounds in his belly. My lord, <laughs> I 